Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how you can set and get a value of a property in a class. Let's get a class first. So it will be employee class. It will have a constructor which will take a value and that will be name. And we will create a property inside this class that will be underscore name. Now we need a function to print the name. So it will be console log this name. Okay. Now let's create an object. So it will be var emp new employee. We need to pass a name. So let's make it marks. Call the method which is get employee. Save it and this is the output. Now it's time to set this property here. So we can set this like this emp dot name and we can change it to Peter. Okay. Now you will get Peter instead of marks. In case if you want to get this value directly you can get it like this just delete this part make it console.log emp and the name save it and this will be output just for the change you can make it Adams and this is the output so this is the first approach let's see the second approach so just delete this method okay this one also so we'll make use of a method to set the property so let's make it set name okay so it will take a value to set the name we don't need a constructor in this case so just simply delete it so we'll create a property same this name that will be equal to value now we need another method to get the name so it will be this dot name and in this case will simply return it there is no constructor so we don't need to pass anything now if you want to set the property of name you can set it like this emp set name because it's a method so it will be like this james and if you want to get that name can simply make use of emp dot get name now save it and this is the output so there's a third approach which is the combination of first approach and the second approach and it is the recommended approach you have to make use of get and set method also known as getter and setter methods so they will be like this just we need a space here and make it in a small case same here space and in a small case now just delete this thing okay so if i want to set the value of name i can follow the first approach which was like this emp dot name and here i can make it this time adams okay and if i want to get that name i can follow the same approach which i followed before it was emp dot name now save it and this is the output so this is the recommended approach you can manipulate the values here for example if i want to add some last name here so i can simply do it like this make it robert or something you can put just put a space here save it and you will get this kind of output so in case if you want to modify the value you want to check whether it's valid or not you always go for this approach where you are setting using the set method and you're getting the value using the get method i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day